I'm wearing like such a sunshiny day outfit but it's so dark and gray outside like literally the only light that I have is from that lamp and the fact that my phone does like the self lighting thing <laughs> otherwise this video would be so dark <laughs> but it's just been so rainy recently <laughs> that I need some sunshine Hello, hello everyone, my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which is a book haul. I have not done a book haul yet, this year. I think I did one right at the end of last year, or maybe one like really early this year, but... I just haven't done a book haul, so I'm really excited to do a book haul. Um, these are pretty much all the books I've acquired this year. Not quite all of them because I think some I've done, I've hauled in like a vlog or something. Basically, so for those of you who are new to my channel, I have like an allowance uh, on how many books or on how much I'm allowed to spend on books. So right now, I'm allowed to spend $20 a month on books which has been a bit of a struggle but you know what I am accepting it and I am slowly figuring out ways to kind of use that $20 for all it's worth sometimes it's just on a really pretty new release and sometimes I can get it to be three to four books a month so I also thought it'd be fun in this video because this book haul isn't really like super big. You would think being almost halfway through the year and doing my first book haul of the year that it would be fairly big. It's not. It's not small, but it's not big. Like, I got like 14 books. You know, it's, it's a good, like, not big size. So I thought it would be kind of fun to talk to you about my strategy for buying books, both with this book budget, but also just in general. If you watch my bullet journal videos, you know that I have a spread every month dedicated to my book budget and how this works is that I have this month and then the next two months and I brainstorm kind of the top priorities that I want in those months. So sometimes if a book is coming out, like it's a new re release and I really want it, it'll be in the brainstorm. Otherwise, maybe a book that I've already read before that I really want to have now for one reason or another, maybe because I want to use it in a recommendations video or maybe it's a continuation in a series and I've been trying to focus on completing my series on my shelves a little bit more. I put that down in these months and some months it's like yes that new release is what I want, it's what I'm going to go for and some months it's like no I can wait a little bit so then what backlisted books can I buy and then depending on where I buy them from how many other books can I get, how can I budget the most amount of books that are still good quality for that month. So base, and then I have quite a few bookstores that I do shop from. Um, so obviously I do have a membership in Barnes and Noble. I do, and that's kind of the place I go for new releases or like recently released books that I want to try and see if I can't save money on maybe to buy something else. So Barnes & Noble tends to have a lot of like buy one get something else half off and so a lot of times if I'm getting a newer book then maybe I can get also a second book within my budget or some sort of little book merch whether it's like a bookmark or a bag or masks or socks or whatever. Um, so Barnes & Noble is where I go when I want to get a newer book but I want to try and get more than one item. If I want just a new release, a hardcover, brand new, beautiful book, I will go to an independent bookstore. I will go to a local bookstore in Minnesota. I've got one that I love called The Red Balloon, um, and that's where I love to go if I just, I have my heart set on this one thing, I want to go and I support them. Unless it's a middle grade. If there's a middle grade that I want, there's another local bookstore that I go to, The Winding Trails Bookstore because they have a good selection of middle grade. I don't like their selection of anything else. They're very, very small um, and they're very local based, but their, but their middle grade is really good. So if I ever like want a middle grade, whether I know what it is or I just know I want to buy a middle grade, that's the bookstore I go to. And then for anything else, it's been interesting because I recently learned that there is half price books 
And the reason I didn't know about it beforehand was because we don't have half price books in Michigan. So I have not grown up with it. I didn't know it was a thing. I didn't understand its concept until I moved to Minnesota where we've got like two or three nice and close by. So while I'm here in Minnesota, I have been trying to uh, use the access to half price books as best I can. Just cause like I said, we don't have it in Michigan, which is such a bummer. But when I am in Michigan, the place that I go to to save money on books and try and buy multiple books within my budget is Thrift Books, which is online. Also, none of this is sponsored by the way. I'm just sharing my uh, thought process when purchasing books. I have not been approached by any of these bookstores saying to say that I buy books from here. Like, this is completely unsponsored. This is just all from my head. Um, but I'll, I'll go to Thrift Books and I will purchase books online. It's a little more iffy about quality of books because um, sometimes I think I'll order a book that's like great or like new and it still has some issues and I'm like, this is not like new. But I don't really always like using Thrift Books, but it is it is really nice though too because they always, they always come. I only had one time where my book was just flat out never delivered and it pissed me off um, but since then it's it's been okay so yeah they're kind of books that I don't necessarily have my heart set on having the nicest copies but you know you take what you can get and then for anything manga related I just go to write stuff anime like I could buy them from Barnes & Noble but write stuff anime is pretty cheap so Highly recommend online write stuff anime for all of your manga needs. All that being said, now that you know how I decide how I buy my books, let's get right into the actual book haul. So first off, let's just start off with write stuff anime. I finally got volume 3 of Hordu Mia, so I had placed a big order last year um, of the first four volumes of Hordu Mia and the first like six volumes of Spy X Family, and as the books came in stock, they were shipped to me. So they finally got volume three, and so this is the last of that order that I had placed. Now I have all my stuff, and I and I can continue to purchase more if I want to. But yeah, Hordamia is adorable because it follows two characters who kind of have secret elements to their identity. So we have like the popular girl who secretly has like a huge temper, but also has to take care of her little brother a lot of times. So she like acts like a mom at home but she also gets like really angry really quickly and it's kind of funny and then our male main character everyone perceives him as like dark and gloomy um and he actually secretly has a whole bunch of like piercings and tattoos um that he wears when he is outside of school and so these two characters kind of accidentally run into each other outside of school and learn of each other's little hidden identity elements and it's adorable from there it's they become friends and then become lovers and it's just oh, it's so cute i highly recommend there is an anime out for it but the anime after the first couple volumes tends to jump around within the manga so i just need to sit and read the manga before i can finish the anime and then from thrift books i got the school for good and evil the last ever after by soman chainani this is the third book in the series, I have already read this and the fourth book, and I'm about to start the fifth book soon. Um, I read them over audio, and then I buy them from thrift books. So this is more about uh, finishing the series rather than like sitting and physically reading it. But yeah, so hopefully the fourth one, the next one is kind of on my radar of to purchase soon. And then from Half Price Books, like I said, I recently discovered it, so I've kind of been going there more often. But the first things that I got, I finished the Ugly series. So I have the first one already of the original covers. I got it for Christmas like a few years ago. And so I finally, I saw that, oh my word, they have pretties, specials, and extras. So I had to get the rest of the series. I'm really happy. They're in nice, such a nice condition. Like I do like half price books more than thrift books if I can ever go with it. But yeah, I'm just really happy to finally have this series finished. I read it when I was in middle school. I loved it. And there's an adaptation coming out. So I'm excited for that. And I also bought Shatter Me 
by Tara Murphy. I own Unravel Me and that was the only one of the series that I owned. So when I saw they had Shadow Me, I was like, I need, I need, I need to. I think I need to reread Shatter Me before I read Unravel Me, but we'll see. So anyway, this is a book haul. I'm just gonna keep going. Then I bought Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. I'm not even gonna go into it, but this is the only Sarah J Maas book I own currently, and I will slowly be hunting for the rest of them at Half Price Books. And then the final book that I got from Half Price, Half Price Books is Escaping Houdini by Carrie Maniscalco. I've been slowly buying one of one book from the series every year and then reading it around Halloween. So this year I'm up to Escaping from Houdini and I will read it to come spooky season and then next year I can finish with Escaping the Devil I believe. I think so. Yeah. So very happy with that. Like I said lots of continuing series. So, uh, those were all, not all, but the last three were purchased in April when I did my continue-a-thon which is all about continuing and finishing series so that's why every book that I bought was like within a series because <laughs> I was very much influenced by that. Okay moving on. This book I got from Book Deposit because I, or Book Depository, because I wanted the UK cover. I don't normally like want specific covers. I'm normally perfectly fine just buying the American cover but when I saw the UK cover for this I knew I ne needed to have it. It's also my current read and it is Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim. It is beautiful, it is gorgeous, I love the pastel colors. Oh, it's so, it's just pure art. Anyway, so this is my current read. I'm hoping to finish it today. I'm just under halfway through. I love it so much and I cannot wait to put it on display on my shelves. And then from Barnes & Noble. The next of these will be from Barnes & Noble. So I have The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie O. This is going to be my next read. I've already got a bookmark in it even though as soon as I finish Six Crimes and Cranes I will move right on to this. It is Korean mythology. Again, I have been highly anticipating this book, really excited for its release. It's absolutely gorgeous. Again, I really want to put it on display on my shelves once I have actually read it. Then this book just came out in April and it is My Dearest Darkest by Kayla Cottingham. This is a dark academia and I am so excited for this. Again, I've been very much anticipating its release for a while now, so. And plus, I've just been in like this dark academia mood. Like I feel standalone kind of new dark academia it just feels kind of spring to me. Just with, with all the rainy days and how gloomy it's been, I've been wanting to read like a darker book that's not like full fantasy so I was very happy when this came out and I hope to get to it fairly soon especially because then I can recommend it during spooky season if I liked it. The first book that I bought in May it may or may not be the only book I buy this month um, just because I, I only have a couple dollars left over for my book budget so We'll see if I can actually buy anything, but I'm very happy if I just purchased this book this month, and that is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. So this came out as of filming like a few days ago, um, but this is her third adult romance book. I own the other two. I've only read Beach Read, but I plan on reading People We Meet on Vacation soon to get me going on the summer vibes. Maybe not today, but hopefully when it's sun sunnier outside, I will pick it up and just pretend that we are already in summer because temperature wise it feels like we just skip spring which I am perfectly okay with um, but yeah this is a literary focused adult fantasy uh, adult romance and I am so excited it's enemies to lovers which is one of my favorite tropes both in fantasy and romance so so excited for this one and then this next one was a gift to me from my husband uh, because he was going on a trip and so I was going to be alone, so he bought a book to comfort me, and that is Aleph the Unseen. And this is by G. Willow Wilson. And yeah, this is, this is like, I don't know too much about this book, but it's definitely in, I think our main character like works in tech, and then they like find uh, like a djinn or something. I don't know, there's djinn in this book, and that's really all I care about, and that's really why my husband picked it for me. So... Uh, I think this will be a great summer read. I'm really excited. The colors are so interesting just with the like bright highlighter yellow and the green. So I'm very excited to get to this and see what the gin is all about. All right, I'm down to two more books. So this next one I actually bought on our trip to Milwaukee, which I believe I vlogged so I can have that linked somewhere. 
Um, but there was just a little cart with books costing one dollar. Um, so I bought The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware because I've been wanting to read more Ruth Ware books after, ever since I read One by One. I very much enjoyed it, plus I've been getting into thriller quite a bit more recently, so I wanted to start reading some backlisted thrillers that I had been interested in and hearing other people talk about way back when. So now, now that I like the thrillers, I'm going for it. So I thought I'd start off with Ruth Ware. And then the last book I have was sent to me by the author. They just reached out over Instagram and was like, hey, want my book? And I was like, yes, I do. Um, so yeah, I am excited to read it. It is called Touch, and this is by Cheryl Kahn. And this is the first in a five book series. I, I assume it's five books because each one focuses on a different sense. So the first one is Touch, and then, you know, we have like sight and hearing and smell and whatever else. Um, I don't know the names of those books, but if I read this one and I really like it, then I will continue to go on with the series. Kind of how that works, right? Um, but yeah, the cover just looks so cool with like the flame and the bear and the nature in the background. So I am really excited to get to this probably in summer. So those are all the books that I have acquired so far. Um, I, I love doing book hauls. So even though I've talked about a lot of these books in other videos or have done come book shopping with me videos, I will still save them to be put into a haul video just because I think it's a lot of fun. I cannot wait. I'll probably, I'll be able to do at least one more book haul video. I don't know if I'll be able to do two more this year just because we're already almost halfway through the year and I feel like 15 books is a good number to do. I just don't know if I'll reach 15 books. Uh, through the end of this year, but my birthday is coming up in a couple days, and then there's always Christmas at the end of the year. Yeah, so we'll see. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up so that I know that you liked it. Otherwise, feel free to subscribe. I make content on Sundays and Wednesdays, and hit the bell to be notified so you don't miss when I upload. I also have Booker's social media linked down below so you can follow me there, get my thoughts and opinions on these books, even sometimes before I release them on YouTube. Otherwise, leave a comment down below if you have read any of these books, what your thoughts and opinions were on them, or if you've bought any books recently, or if you have a strategy of how you buy your books. Are there specific bookstores you go to for specific things, or are you just Barnes & Noble all the way, independent bookstore all the way, do you buy online, do you not? Like, let's chat about how we purchase our books. Yeah? Anyway, like I said, thank you all for watching, and until I see you in the next video, I wish you happy reading! Thank you.